An update on the recent Green Run hot fire test, pre-flight preparations continue with the Orion spacecraft and a new view of small solar structures, a few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Preliminary review following our January 16th hot fire test of the core stage of our Space Launch System rocket shows that the rocket's hardware is in excellent condition. Officials say the shutdown of the planned eight-minute test just over a minute into the firing was triggered by conservative parameters intentionally put in place for ground testing to ensure the safety of the core stage when it is mounted in the B-2 test stand. If this scenario occurred during an actual flight, the rocket would have continued to fly. The team is evaluating next steps for SLS, which will launch an uncrewed Orion spacecraft to the moon on our Artemis One mission. Meanwhile, the Orion spacecraft is a step closer to being ready for the Artemis One mission to the moon. Engineers at our Kennedy Space Center recently finished installing and testing components, systems, and subsystems to ensure the spacecraft can accomplish the mission. Orion was then moved to another facility for fueling, marking the spacecraft's transition from the manufacturing and assembly stage to pre-flight processing. Data from our Solar Dynamics Observatory and cutting-edge image processing have given scientists an unprecedented look at small solar structures called plumets within the geyser-like solar plumes we see that stream material from the sun into space and play a large role in creating the high-speed solar wind. This new detailed look suggests these plumets are not just a feature of the plumes, but rather are the building blocks from which plumes are made. The research could help scientists understand how and why disturbances form in the solar wind. January 23rd marks the 80th anniversary of our Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio. The center began as the Aircraft Engine Research Laboratory in 1941, a national resource for innovation in aircraft engine technology. Over the decades, the center's work in both aviation and space exploration has given the U.S. a leading role in the aerospace industry, including current work, advancing next-generation aircraft, and innovative technology to enable NASA's space exploration missions, including upcoming Artemis missions, to land humans on the moon. Our NASA family is remembering NASA television production manager Cliff Feldman, who passed away January 14th from COVID-19. His storied television career as a videographer and producer included work at ABC, CBS, Fox, and elsewhere before coming to NASA in 2005. He played a major role in the success of some of the agency's highest profile productions, including the Apollo 50th anniversary special, and nationwide coverage of the 2017 total solar eclipse. His diligent yet uniquely relaxed work ethic earned him the appreciation and respect of colleagues and clients alike, many of whom considered him to be the heart and soul of NASA TV and also considered themselves fortunate to have known him as a trusted friend. If the measure of a life well lived is by the number of lives one has touched, then Cliff Feldman lived one heck of a life. Cliff Feldman was 73 years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.